Okay, this video is about virtual keys. Um, I'm going to step away from fake person, sh fake sh uh, person shooter game for a second and talk about virtual keys for Game Maker Studios. So, I wanted to know how to do this for a while now. Um, basically, my games are like one button press. So now, I know how to do vir virtual keys so you can press left, right, and um, press the power button at the same time and you can do two key press versus just a one press using the left press mouse event so in this situation you're pretty much converting your keyboard keys to uh, virtual keys for your Android device I'm going to show you how to do that so it's pretty pretty simple so in each one of these the left right top bottom buttons and you have the power button here so for like the right button you go to add event and do a create then you go to your uh, main uh, control tab and drag over a coded sheet then this is what your code's going to look like so it's going to state key equals virtual underscore key underscore add you could change this key gray key information to whatever you want to name it but I would just leave it a key um, it's not really that big of a deal uh, these numbers are a big deal here so the 256 comma 256 that's going to be the location of your key on screen so for this object right button um, well, you can't really see it here. It's not. Uh, that's showing me. Okay, at the very bottom of the screen here. See how it's saying 256 X coordinate, Y coordinate 256. So that's what you need. Um, so each. Move your mouse at each of these buttons here and you get a different coordinate. So you got to make sure you have the right coordinate for the right button. So that way when you press on it, it goes in that one location and you're, you're able to move. Or you're able to use your power button. Okay, so the coordinate here is, um, I, I have mine at 256 by 256. Uh, it just depends on where you want it located at on the button area here so that so this is X 256 is Y 256 then 100 and 100 that's going to be your uh, your size of your button your, so, so my width and height of the button is 100 and be sure to um, set this to centered center your um, your crosshair right here on your button because if you don't have this crosshair on your button it's not going to work either so make sure you center it by pressing the center button to get the crosshair right in the middle of the button and the next step is to set your uh, keyboard key to the, um, the correct key so this is V key underscore right you could do V key underscore left uh, I, it's V key underscore right because you're going in the right direction, so it's going to be V key underscore right. Um, you could also do other keys. Uh, if you just press the V key, it gives you a list of different keys you can use. Um, I would probably use the V key F1 since you have so many of them. And these correspond to, um, I'll show you in a minute, uh, the keys that you, you press on the add event. So, but I would keep this one at V key underscore right because you're going in the right direction. So it makes sense to keep it at V key right. This display underscore set underscore GAUI underscore size parentheses room underscore width comma room underscore height this is required uh, 
for Game Maker Studio is because if you don't have this line of code in here, it's not going to sense where your button's at in the game. Um, so this is just also an extra precaution. All right, so that that's to set your, your key up for the virtual key. Now, one other step you have to go into is going to be your person event. So for this um, object right key, it's called vkey underscore right, correct? Okay, so in your person event, you have a um, press right. So you go to add event and go to key press and you go to press right. And you put your direction in there, your move fix direction. And that's from the move tab. So he's going to go 10 speeds to the right. And you set it to self because this key is in with the person event. And then you have a um, release right, which is going to make him stop. Speed's going to be a zero. All right, and then what I've talked about just a minute ago with the F1 buttons, when you go to F, when you go to the add event here, you have a list. You have a list of keys you can choose from. Now you can't use for some reason you're not able to use these letter keys because when you press V key underscore A, it doesn't it doesn't come up. And doesn't turn uh, pink, so it's not going to work for your game. This is going to stay graded out. It's not going to work. So you got these function keys here. You can use if you have a lot of buttons. You can use the function keys here, F1 through F12, or you can use the left. Like I said, you, you can use the left, uh, right, up and down for your your buttons. And jump, move right, move left, move down. Or bend down, anyways. And then you have the um, Control Alt Shift Space and Enter buttons. You can also use um, and maybe the keypad. You could probably use that too. So that's pretty much it. I mean, you put in, and then it's it's pretty much set up. This this thing's set up for your um, keyboard for the PC. And then it's also set up for the, the Android as well. But you have to do both to get this, these buttons to work. So the first step is to put the code in to get your, your virtual key to interact with your finger on your Android device. And then you have to set up your key event in your person area using the keyboard keys here. And see, with the power button, um, I had to create, and then I did this. So it's the same information: key underscore virtual key add. The power the power button um, is located at 512 by 224 on your screen, and then I, I called it V key underscore enter. All this information same, just like the for the other buttons. It's just going to be these numbers that are going to be changed. Um, the 100, 100, that's the size of the button. So these buttons are going to, these numbers are going to change, and this is going to change for each button. And then, like I said, you have the crosshairs, make sure it's centered. And then you go to your person event, and you have enter. Press enter, and then he's going to use the. You're going to use in this. I'm going to use the color sprint from the main one tab here. Okay. And then I set a color which is going to be um, this violent color, this orange, this purplish color, but. Um, I guess it depends on what color your your object is on screen. It's going to change to a different color. Mine turns like blue or something, dark blue. So when you you're moving right, left, up and down, you can press the power button at the same time, and he'll he'll switch colors. 
or you can just press the power button, you'll just change colors. But in this, you know, this is virtual keys are good because you can press a two button press. Before, when I used the left button press the mouse event, for all my buttons, it only allowed you to do one move. Okay, so that's the enter button. Then you have a release enter button, which is going to change to a different color when you release the enter button. All right, and I and I cannot show you this um, when you play this on your computer. It will, it will work for your 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 keyboard, but when you click on it using your mouse, it's not going to work because it's not set up for your mouse. Um, it's set up for virtual keys, so it's not going to be in operation when you use your mouse clicks. It's not going to work because it's not set up for mouse. It's set up for your your Android. So you have to export it out, and you can um, upload it to your like Gmail account, and you can download load it to your phone, and you can test it out there before you put it up there on some other site. You, know, you just want to test it out so like I said it won't work with your mouse event clicks only on your Android phone it will work but you can also um, test it out on your uh, keyboard he moves left right up down and then power button well you can't the power buttons enter see it turns blue so See, you're able to move up and press enter. See, that's what I'm talking about. So you can do all that on your Android device while you're moving. If you have it set up for your mouse, click events, it's not going to work. It only allow you to do one button press. This will allow you to do two button press. All right, and I'll put that up there on YouTube. You can download it and mess around with the events, actions and events. Thanks for watching.